We will start in three minutes. People are still connecting to the YouTube 
broadcast. In three minutes, we will start with the opening. Good morning, everybody, or good afternoon or good night, depending on where you are. This is the 29th International Symposium on Industrial Electronics, IEEE ISAE 2020. My name is Peter Pelensky. I'm one of the general chairs organizing this uh, event for you. And it is my honor to welcome you here today. I tell you nothing new when I say that this uh, conference is virtual. Initially, we were organizing everything for you to welcome you in Delft in the Netherlands. It's a very romantic uh, village or city. Looks like little Amsterdam with lots of water, nice bars and restaurants because it's a university city. And we had a fantastic social and cultural program for you as well, which is always a part of conferences. This time, due to the circumstances, we had to switch to virtual in a very short time. And we tried our best to keep the spirit of our conference series in the best way possible. This is a little picture of our um, situation room in my office where on the left side, it's me. In the middle is uh, Pavel Bauer, our program chair, and uh, uh, Arjen van der Meer registrations. But that's not all. We have a, a large team organizing this conference for you in, a, in an online fashion. Um, we are quite large. It's almost 300 uh, delegates and videos and presentations that we had to uh, organize somehow. And uh, our biggest thank really goes to you the authors, the delegates, because you performed in an amazing way. Uh, normally, there are already enough troubles in organizing a conference. And if you add all kinds of tools and, 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 and change schedules, uh, we expected lots of more troubles, but uh, there were none. Uh, you were just amazing, extremely flexible, 
uh, you all submitted your videos, your pitch slides. It's really very, very, very impressive. So without you, this would not have worked. So the biggest thank really goes to, to, to the delegates. We hope that this conference will serve you well, uh, that you get what you want, that you meet uh, with your colleagues, make new friends, new colleagues, uh, where you can discuss your research and ask questions and get answers uh, to your research uh, questions. Um, thank also goes to the local team. Uh, we have a, a, a plethora of tools uh, in the loop to get things uh, uh, running for you. So we use Zoom and Chitsi and Chatsi and YouTube and Cloud Drives and Loom. It's amazing how all these things work. And I'm really uh, very, very thankful for our uh, local team here that pulls the strings from the dark to keep everything uh, performing for you. Um, we are in different time zones. Uh, uh, we are all uh, uh, experimenting how to deal with that. So depending on where you are, you might uh, sit in your pajamas or already with your beer in your hands. But uh, nevertheless, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, we um, organized uh, the conference in a way that is very close to normal conferences. So we have it done in three days. We have sessions, we have rooms, of course, they are virtual. And uh, we are all learning. So for us, it's the first larger conference that we organize in that way. We will have even bigger ones very soon. And we will have a post-conference survey where we will ask you to give us feedback on what you liked and what you don't like. And please also say how to make it better. Uh, we would like to learn what's the best practice, uh, how to organize these things that uh, we all get the best out of it. The program. Um, is already up and running. Yesterday we had tutorials. They were very successful. <laughs> Everything worked. All the tools uh, did their job. Uh, the, the guests, the, the, the attendees were very satisfied. Uh, we had a blend of videos and, and interactive parts and this was very well perceived. So we are happy that it worked and uh, we hope this continues. Um, the headline, the highlight, of uh, this conference are maybe the keynotes. It's an impressive lineup. Uh, uh, we will uh, introduce them once they are there, but we have Frede Bleiberg from Alberg University in Denmark today. Uh, we have Claudio uh, Cañazares uh, from University of Waterloo tomorrow, and Thomas M. Jans uh, from University of Wisconsin-Madison, the USA on, on Friday. This is really very, very impressive. I'm really uh, uh, amazed how we could get this uh, very, very prominent uh, lineup organized for this conference. Um, the sessions themselves, that's the bulk of our program, are very, very similar to normal sessions. Um, we have prepared these little um, session information pages where you find everything you need. Uh, there's the, the videos, um, the, the list of papers, the list of presentations, even the pitch slides are there. And then you can join online. Uh, there is a link in the right upper corner that says join online. If you click on that, you will come to a Jitsi room. Jitsi is the same as Zoom. It's just uh, more, yeah, it's open source and secure. Um, that's where you meet with your uh, colleagues in the session. So everybody who's interested in that topic should be there. Um, especially the presenters, of course, uh, they will get two or three minutes to uh, recap their videos. You, know, you should have watched them up front. So I hope you watched all the videos that you're interested in. And in these sessions, you will not see the presentation. You will just see a two to three minutes pitch supported by a pitch slide that is presented by the session chairs. You can also view them yourself if you have two screens. Um, <clears throat> and then the main part, Q&A. So please ask questions, uh, set up connections, uh, arrange follow-up meetings. And in theory, you can stay in that room. Uh, it's yours. <laughs> you don't have, we don't kick you out of the conference center as we normally do in face-to-face -face, uh, uh, conferences. Uh, here you can just stay and, and continue discussing and uh, uh, use the time and the opportunity that you meet with your, with your peers. <clears throat> After the conference, um, there's a couple of things. First, if you want a certificate of attendance, 
or a certificate that you shared a session, they are there. Yeah. Just go to this uh, URL, this link that I show here, isae2020.org slash certs. If you, it, it shows the same program. So it's a, it's a copy of the HTML navigation program, but the names are activated. So if you click on your name in your session, if you're a presenter or a, or a chair, then you get your, your PDFs. Another very important uh, thing that you can and maybe should do after the conference is think of a post-conference publication, a paper in a, in a journal. IEEE uh, encourages you to do that. Of course, there are rules. Uh, it must be an extended version, maybe with some proof, uh, um, more depth, more details, and so forth. It's all given in the operations manual if you, if you really take care for these formal rules. And uh, what I can really recommend to you is the, is the uh, IEEE Open Access Journal of the Industrial Electronics Society, the OGs, as we call it. It's a very young journal, but it's taking off like a rocket. Um, still, they are hungry for papers, so please use the momentum. And I've talked to the editor-in-chief. He encourages all of you to think of your paper. Um, do you have enough meat? Do you have enough content to make it a journal publication? And please do it. And go to the web page. It's on the IES. Uh, homepage where you find all the rules and regulations on how to do that. I got a few questions regarding the videos. Um, as you might have realized, there is no authentication for uh, the program. Everybody can join. So this is a, a, a sort of open access conference, not the papers. Yeah? They are copyrighted. There are some rules. But the presentations, it's just as if we would open the doors in the conference center and wink everybody in to enjoy and watch uh, the presentations. But still, you own the videos. They are on your personal Loom cloud space. Yeah? We will remove the links after the conference, but you can keep them uh, on the cloud space if you want. You can reuse it, you can delete it. It's all in your hands. So this is the way how we decided to make it this time. Please tell us if you like that or if you would uh, change anything on that. Um, as I already said, we want your feedback. So there will be a post-conference uh, survey. Um, everything is new for us. Uh, we uh, decided for a certain workflow, for a certain uh, uh, style of organizing this conference. Um, we do other uh, conferences as well in the not so far future where we do it differently, yeah, just to find out what goes well, what is appreciated by the audience. So please give us your feedback by the end of the year we maybe have a nice uh, 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 portfolio of, of how-tos and best practices. And uh, then we can uh, uh, share a pick for next year if we are still forced to give uh, one or two conferences in a virtual way. Um, I get a question right now. So if you ask questions in the chat rooms, there is an editor that writes them down for me. Um, there is a question about proceedings on YouTube. I replied that we were working on them. Uh-huh, encountered some technical issues. All right. Ah, the proceedings, yeah. <laughs> uh, the proceedings are currently in production. It takes a while, even on the server, and we will put them on the webpage. I sent out a link where I can download them, all the papers, all the PDFs. It's just as the USB proceedings will offer them on, on the... Uh, on the web pages as download. Um, last point for me before I head over to the president of the Industrial Electronic Society is uh, pointing you to the closing, closing uh, ceremony on Friday. Please be there. It will be fun. The opening is not fun. <laughs> it's just the formal part, but the closing will be there. It's moderated by Pavel Bauer, our uh, program chair. He has a quiz for you. There are even prizes to win and so forth. And we will uh, recap a lot of the conference and uh, it's really informative. So please be there and join us on Friday uh, for the closing. Um, now, 
That's all from my side. Uh, I will now hand over to Terry Martin, uh, the president of the United uh, United of the Industrial <laughs> Electronic Society. Uh, not yet, Terry. Um, um, uh, because um, this is not an entertainment show uh, where we uh, give frontal broadcast and you just consume. The Industrial Electronic Society is a community, a society where everybody can join, where you can get engaged, just as I did a few years ago. And you can uh, get active in all kinds of activities in publications, in technical committees, in working groups, in, and also organize a conference, as you see right now. So please see this as an invitation to join the society, to get active with us. We always need fresh blood, and it's a great place to be. You're at the front of development in our fields, and uh, uh, we we always welcome uh, uh, new faces there. So by that, I would like to thank everybody, uh, say goodbye for the time being, and I would like to ask our president, Terry Martin, uh, to officially open the conference. Thank you, Peter. Uh, I would also like to extend you a welcome on behalf of the IEEE and the Industrial Electronics Society uh, to the 29th IEEE International Symposium on Industrial Electronics, or just ISIE as, as it's become known over the years. Uh, as industry experts and researchers from industry and academia in the industrial electronics environment, I know that over the next few days, you'll be sharing and exchanging innovative results, lessons learned, uh, and in, through this remote delivered conference. Uh, but before we begin the conference or open it up, I would like to share with you a few moments, a few notes about IEEE and IES. Next slide, please. If you look at IEEE overall, uh, you can see that we're over 400,000 members, uh, 160 countries. Uh, there are 46 technical societies and councils it is, uh, if not the largest, it is one of the very largest technical societies in the world. Um, next slide. Industrial Electronics Society itself, uh, you can see there, I've put a few notes there about uh, the wide range of technical activities that, that it encompasses. Uh, it covers a, a wide things from intelligent computer control system, robotics, uh, like, you know, power electronics, visions, all the different things there. I didn't mention all of them by name, but they're there in the, in the words that I have on the screen. Uh, and we're continually updating our technical uh, activities, meet the needs of this uh, modern industry. Industrial Electronics Society was established in 1951. And if you do the math, you'll realize that next year, and 2021 will be our 70th anniversary of the society. We're one of the oldest societies in IEEE. Uh, it is probably one of the most, uh, it was probably the, if not the first, one of the very first that was truly international. It has always been that way pretty much from the start. Uh, you can see that uh, we're from 100 countries. We have over 8,000 members and 80% of our members are outside of the USA. And that makes us kind of a little different uh, than a lot of the societies within IEEE. Uh, and so next slide. Uh, as Peter mentioned, you know, we'd like for you to join the Industrial Electronics Society. Uh, it's fairly cheap, it's $9 uh, US dollars. Uh, we are not dependent upon the pretty much the society as our funding sources. The, the $9 is a very small portion of our budget. We wanted to make it affordable. Uh, and so there's a number of things you receive. You receive the, the monthly uh, industrial electronics magazine uh, in print. Uh, you use a hard copy of that. You also get it electronically uh, and you get access to uh, all the Industrial Electronics Society's publications, which I'll show you all of those in just a minute. Uh, there's a great networking opportunities. Uh, there's also, we're divided into 23 technical committees uh, that we, there's a lot of opportunity to, to work with. We'd like you to get involved with those technical uh, uh, 
uh, committees if you are interested. We're always open for that. Uh, there's also discounts on other print subscriptions that you would get from our some of the societies are what we call our sister societies. There's some discounts that are available to you for that. If you go to our website, webpage, IEEE-IES.org, you can see a lot about have the membership and a lot more about the Industrial Electronic Society. Next slide. Um, if you, you know, as I said about our publications, uh, we have some very high ranked top, you know, high ranked journals uh, in the in this area which we're publishing uh, the you know Peter mentioned the open journal for industrial electronics society that is one of our new journals we started this year we also started the and it's an open access journal we also started the journal on emerging and selected topics in industrial electronics those are two new journals that we started this year uh, we have a well-established uh, industrial electronic transaction on industrial electronics, or TIE, and our TII, the transaction on industrial informatics, uh, our journals. So we have a number of journals and ways in which you can publish the work in our society and the, the area which we're uh, working in. We also have some co-sponsored journals. With uh, We have one with ASME, it's a transactions on mechatronics. Uh, we have some other journals that we're co-sponsoring there uh, with as well. Next slide. As you know, before we uh, completely go, I want to, uh, you know, that's just a little bit of summary of what we are as Industrial Electronics Society. But uh, as you know, organizing a conference is, is no simple task. And uh, I would like to really express my appreciation to Peter Polanski and his colleagues, Delft University of Technology and the entire organizing committee uh, for their great efforts, not only organizing this conference, but shifting the conference from a face-to-face -face format to an online format. This was not what they signed up for. This is not how they had planned it, but they've done a fabulous job in making this transition. And I want to say a big thumbs up to everybody uh, for making this conference successful and to you as the publishers, uh, the conference attendees are, you know, that are making this a great conference. It took a lot on your part to get to this point. And so uh, as I say, thank you for everyone for that. Uh, so I always like to just say, stay, stay safe until we can meet again face to face. Uh, thank you for your support of IEEE and the Industrial Electronics Society. And I wish you have a wonderful conference here. So uh, officially now, the conference is now open. Thank you. All right. Thanks, everybody. Please go to the online uh, program and navigate to your sessions. And then we uh, meet there in the online rooms. Thanks a lot. See you there.